Hello YouTube, it's Windows Helping here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can have the launchpad that people have on Mac OS right on your desktop. So the program that we're going to be using is called X Launchpad, and if you want to download this program, all you have to do is go to the link that I have in the description, go to this page right here, and click on this mirror button right here. So once you've done that, just install the app and you'll have it right down on your desktop. So if you want to open the app, you can either double click it or click the F12 button. So once you you have done that, you will get it to this menu right here. This is the app itself. So here you can have your most useful apps or the programs that you use most of the time. If you want to add the program, all you have to do is right click and click add. And here it gets you to some options. For example, you can add a file, a folder, uh, for example, a browser, the control panel, or even some basics from the computer, for example, shutdown, restart, logout, or pages like that. So in the view section, you can change how you want the icons to appear. For example, you have large icons, medium icons, small icons, or a custom size. You can change the range options. And, in the, and if you would click on the settings tab, here it gets to this page right here. Here you can check if you want to enable or disable desk mode. Desk mode is where it will show also your desktop accounts. For example, if you have some icons on your desktop, it will show up right in here. So in the layout, you can choose the size of the icons and how much, how many icons you want per row. In the activation, you can change the hotkey and or set a custom key of your own. In the appearance tab, you can show the shortcut caption. And for example, you can enable the background blur. So as you can see, the background is blurred now. Or just have a custom background picture and just click on that, select the picture that you want and have it as a background. So in the other tab, uh, as you can see, you can uh, select if, if you have a multi desktop, you can set the multi screen select. For example, if you have two uh, two desktops, you can select them right here. And if, when you scroll on pages, the page that you have been scrolled will go to another desktop. So that's basically it. Uh, if you want to add a folder to this app, all you have to do is just click on the app that you want, drag it over the other program, just let it and automatically create a folder and you can name the folder whatever you want. So it's, that's basically it guys, hope you like this app, and if you do, please go ahead and hit the like button, so subscribe and favorite my videos, and as always, have a nice day, and I will see you at my next video.